Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Boxing Reviews and How To. And are you finding your Apple Watch no longer shows the date when you look at it? Well, there's a pretty good reason for it. Keep watching to find out how to fix it. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the reasons why your Apple Watch, one of these, possibly isn't showing the date on the front screen as it possibly previously did. Now, for those of you that are using slightly different complications on your watch face, now a complication is kind of effectively an app within an app, which is the method of usage on the Apple iWatch. And essentially it comes down to that. But there is also another feature. Now, part of the recent Apple updates, it actually removed the calendar from a lot of phones. And the actual watch uses the Apple calendar on your phone to synchronize and also to get the information such as dates and to also install that uh, complication. So yeah, it probably doesn't make much sense, but hopefully it will do by the time you finish watching this video. So the first thing you need to do is to get your iPhone and what you wanna do is to go into your app store or basically just swipe across twice until you get to your app library. Again, I'll try and put this on the side so you can see it all and just do a search for calendar. And if you haven't got calendar installed and it shows in the list as it does on the phone there, you're gonna to need to reinstall it. Now, a lot of people don't use the Apple Calendar for one reason or another, so you don't obviously miss it when it's not there until you look at your watch, flip it up, and you're, oh, no time and date. So this is how to fix it. So what you wanna do is go over to the App Store. So go into Apple Apps, go into the App Store, and all you need to do is to basically, in the search box, type in Calendar, and then you're presented with some options. Now, generally the sponsored ones tend to be first, so don't pick on those ones. Scroll down until you see the kind of the Apple-esque logo, and if you click on it, you should be able to see that it's available to install when it says Apple on it. So don't install the non-Apple one, it has to be the Apple one in order for this to work. So all you do then is just click on install if you haven't got it already. Obviously you can see on mine, it says open because it's uh, basically ready to be used. Now one thing you have to do is make sure you actually open it for the first time. If you haven't already, now I'm open mine, I've done it already. So this is why I know this. So make sure you actually open it for the first time. That actually sets a lot of the other principles in motion for the actual watch. So now what we can do is uh, we can ignore the phone altogether. So close down any apps, etc., and we can put that to one side. And now we can go over to the actual watch itself. So I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see this a little bit more clearer. Okay, so on the actual watch, as you can see at the moment, mine is showing the time and date. Click on the button on the side, and you wanna head into settings. Now your layout may be slightly different than mine. So just head into settings, and go into notifications, general, etc., all that kind of stuff. And you can look through, and look through until you see calendar. So you should see calendar is installed. And just hit on calendar and it gives you the options of what it shows up next, list day, etc. So that's just to make sure that the watch has actually kind of updated and is now showing the fact that calendar is installed on the phone and is also on the device itself. So going back to the uh, the front screen, what you can do is just press and hold on the front there, and then that goes through to actually go through and change your various settings. So we'll go on to the first one, go to edit. And this is where you change your complications, as it says on the top there, complications. Press it green so it highlights. So basically this is a calendar, so you can choose what you want in there. You can choose, if you want to, different apps, etc. heart rate. So if we choose heart rate, now it's gonna show heart rate in that center section, rather than the time and date. So you can put the complication wherever you want to on the screen, depending on the screen you're using. So let's go on down through and choose calendar, we choose today's date and now we've got it in that bottom section. So essentially, depending on the actual watch face you're using, then this is a, a good way of actually changing it. So if you uh, so press and hold, and then you can go into edit, and then you can change complications depending which screen you're on. Obviously, depending which screen you are on, depends on which complications you can actually have. So you can have a calculator if you wanted to, but we want calendar, because I pressed on the wrong one. So once you're done, Press on the side button or on the side there. And now we've got the date, etc. So I'm gonna go back to that one, that's the one I normally have. So let's edit that one. And we'll scroll back up, it's all alphabetical. So we'll choose calendar and there we go. So now 
now we get our time and also we get our date which is actually really handy i don't know why they removed it as a default thing so very bizarre but still that is uh, how to get it back on your iWatch or Apple Watch, whichever you want to call it. So there you go, pretty straightforward. Uh, obviously, once you know what is doing it and how to redeem it. So if this video has been helpful to you, don't forget to give the video a like. And if you want to see more content like this on a regular basis, hit that subscribe button and the chime icon to be notified of future video releases. So again, that is a nice and easy way to set up your Apple Watch. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.